insanity. face. Luke Gallows looking to do what he does best, beat up whoever's in the ring. The club's biggest member, Luke Gallows, is in action here tonight. And he's a true good brother if there ever was one. Putting all that power to good use. <laughs> oh, man! Oh, my, what a slam. Look at Luke Gallows starting to slow here. I think it's safe to say that the action so far in this six-man tag team match is exactly what we expected. When you put that much meat in the ring, somebody's gonna get hurt. 
And unfortunately for him, he's the one on the receiving end of this inevitable beatdown. I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly aren't looking good for him right now. any more punishment, he might want to tag out here. At this point, he really has to think about mixing it up a bit. Maybe implement more of a power game into his offense. He has to be feeling helpless in there right now. Nothing seems to be going right for him tonight. That's how you wear down your opponent. Standing six foot eight and weighing 290 pounds, if there's one thing Luke Gallows loves to do, it's ruin people's careers. Everyone Luke Gallows has faced has felt his power and his pain. There it is, the tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. And what happened to this form of attack? The clothesline finds the mark. Luke Gallows is one half of the greatest tag teams in the world. When you see Luke Gallows, you can guarantee absolute and total destruction is to follow. To me, Luke Gallows is a wonderful communicator. The types of beatings that Gallows puts on his opponents send a crystal clear message that the monster's sole purpose is to destroy him. Breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before the referee's 10 count or risk being counted out and lose the match for your team. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times, the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure and what was a six-man tag match breaks down into a pier six brawl. If you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruin it for everybody. Tying up the legs now. Oh, looking for the surfboard. Uh, oh, oh God. face first. Good night. That kick had purpose. AJ Styles beginning to look a bit rattled. And Styles is definitely Jeez. off his game right now. Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. To be successful, the offensive style he's relying on tonight requires he not lose too much stamina. But by the looks of things right now, he might need a new game plan. He's not looking like himself right now, and I hate to say it, but this might be the beginning of the end for him here. saying this superstar has begun showing a bit of arrogance since the latest weekly rankings were released. But the way I see it, that's just cool. Man, this is what makes him one of the best in the business. There certainly is a fine line between arrogance and confidence, as Byron was saying, but whatever it is, I have no problem with it. This superstar has been on an absolute roll as of late. And who really cares if somebody's being arrogant? As the old saying goes, if you got it, flaunt it. And this superstar certainly has it. Young is in position. Driving elbow. AJ's in big trouble now. Eric Young better not waste this opportunity. Uh, I don't think he will. Unleashing it for the second time now.
Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. Young is in position. Bang, man. Good night. This one's over. Penny predicament. Double ice handle. could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying, but it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done, and even then, it's not a sure bet, a la Randy Savage versus The Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 7. That's my favorite match of all time. Randy Savage landed an amazing five top rope elbow drops, but was still unable to put Warrior away. And you know, and he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. He's making a statement here for this attack. seen from this superstar in recent weeks. And look at hung up on the second. Looks like he's shutting down the carotid arteries here. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Well, Byron, you're not the only one impressed by what you've seen as of late. It seems these responsible for the weekly rankings have also taken notice because this superstar comes into tonight with quite an impressive spot. And well-deserved, too, I might say. It just goes to show that wins here in WWE go a long way in solidifying your spot on the roster. Oh, boy, he is ready. What is Kelly Hughes doing? Oh, my God. Incredible. the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Oh, man! What is Kelly and Dane have in store? As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the... Killian Day, this is all over! What a shot. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys.